Hello everyone, it is Melissa and I am happy to be back with another project share. This one is going to be 8.5 by 11 size and it is of a intro into us leaving for spring break 2019. And so, like always, you see I'm pulling from my product jar and I have mixed media, mist, phrase stickers, I have stencils, ephemera, enamel dots, and roller stamps. And you can also see my box there with summer and travel and also my little pouch with summer and travel. And so one of my pulls was a stencil. And so I have some Stormy Sky Distress Oxide Ink and a stencil from Hobby Lobby. And, you know, if you guys have been following me for any length of time, you know that I am an, a very intentional scrapper. And so I pulled this stencil specifically because it reminded me of a car tire and this being me documenting a road trip well uh, yeah that's how I roll so anyways that's why I use that now one of the things from my product jar that I pulled was mixed media and uh, essentially using the inks and mist and stencil and some water all kind of flows into that category as far as my brain works so um, I, in fact, if I'm going by that, used all of my pulls. So you can see there, I finished the stenciling and I'm going to add some glimmer mist. And this one happens to be a sapphire. Now I've used this in the past. I don't love it. And so I'm not the biggest fan of navy and colored mist, but uh, I used it and it was done. And to be quite honest, I sat there thinking, holy crap, what have I done? And just uh, threw a little temper tantrum and pressed on. So I was going to make it work. And so I, <laughs> oh, yikes. I'm going to clean up from that and, like I said, try to have a little fit and press on. So uh, I then have pulled from Studio L2E. Wanderlust. It's one of their travel stamp sets. Also some pattern paper. I don't know where it's from, but if you can see there in the speech bubbles, I stamped those words in the speech bubbles with a black ink. And those words say road trip, travel, adventure, wander, capture, documented. All just from that stamp set. That's in fact um, what I end up using on this page as my stamped element, aside from the roller date stamp that I do use at the end. And so what I'm liking here is, so you see there that background behind my photo, that is an old, oh my gosh, I don't even know. I used the other piece to that ephemera. Yeah, I want to say maybe creative memories. I don't know. Last time I thought that someone corrected me, so I don't know guys, but it's 20 years old. So I'm happy to get it out of my stash in essence. It's got some postage stamps on it, so super fun. That road trip paper, a really old element as well. And so what you saw there was me using a piece of washi tape. I don't know where that's from, but it's uh, indicative to what I believe is a road. And so it's got the dash marks there. So that's why I use that. I'm trying to kind of stay, well, you see there I have a Project Life card pulled from the Snap Studios. It's their travel line. And it says departures with a, with a, um, with a plane, but I'm just going to cover that up with that same washi tape. And so what I'm trying to, um, what I was trying to explain earlier is that I'm trying to stay with the same sort of colors that are in that stamped paper, which I mean are a lot if I'm being honest, but I, it didn't matter. I liked, they all kind of went together and I was liking it. And so next to my photo is a sign and it's from an Allie Edwards printable. I'm not sure which one. I apologize. One of her travels one. And it says, here we go with some arrows. I just fussy cut that out. I print, I had it printed. And then let's see, these are the days is going to be my border across the whole layout. There's my love this Amy Tangerine roller stamp. And I just used a tab sticker from my stash and put it on there. Now, I'm going to adhere this Project Life card and then start making it my own um, with the tab up there. And as you see, I've already kind of made it my own with the washi tape. 
And then the Explore sticker that I have there, that is actually from the uh, Simple Stories Travel Notes was a sticker collection that I had in my stash. I will use another bit of that um, coming up here. But so I just wanted to put that there to, um, you know, have the word explore. Something else from my product jar was phrase stickers. I actually don't end up using phrase stickers per se, but I do use some phrases. They are just pieces of chipboard that I had in my stash from an uh, old freckled fawn chipboard set, kind of summer set. So you'll see me use the words eventually under explore that say so very happy, good vibes, and vacation time. And that is in fact where I ended up pulling in some more pink because um, those pinks in that border strip, I wanted to have more pink um, to kind of match the hearts in the border strip. Okay, so what I'm doing here is applying the word explore, which is just a sticker, and I put it on a piece of copy paper and cut it out. And um, yeah, I'm just going to cut the edges off here and toss those out. I don't really use any other elements in my page except for enamel dots. And what you'll see coming up here is me making my own piece of flare. You guys know that I love doing that. And I am going to use one of the stickers from Travel Notes and make my own piece of flare. And it's just a car with some luggage on top. Um, and that's it. And yeah, I just love how this turned out. It's going to be a wonderful intro to my photos. Uh, I have going to do a pocket page that is going to follow this layout. And so um, it'll be wonderful to add uh, my photos to the pocket pages from spring break. And then I'll be able to call that done. And I will be sure to share that uh, coming up here. I hope to print those photos today, as a matter of fact. And so I'm just gluing these on, going to um, get them, you know, like I said, I pulled colors from the layout, going to get them under a piece of acrylic block just to keep them in place while the glue sets. Adding some bits of Stampin' Dimensionals from Stampin' Up just to the backs of certain things so, so they pop up. I like my edges to pop up. Uh, so there's that car. I'm going to cover with a bubble and the enamel dots for my stash. Now, the one thing I don't think I went into was the fact that I took that postage background piece of paper and took it over to my typewriter and where there was a whited out void already on there, I went ahead and typed my journaling on there. And um, basically all it says is back to Pine Island, 3.30 to 4.6, here we go. We always love this time of this time away. Even better, visiting with friends. And this year we brought Candace, and she was so good. And yeah, it says we can't wait to have such a, we always have such a wonderful week together and can't wait to get back there again. And so, I don't know, this came together. Uh, this was probably, this is for sure my shortest process video. This came together in total in about a half an hour. Um, so love that. And I, um, yeah, I'm going to be done here. I'm just going to add a couple more dots and call it good. So yeah, I would love for you, you know, to follow me here, subscribe to my channel on YouTube, follow me. Uh, I will have the links to my Facebook and Instagram feed in the description box. If you have any questions about this layout or anything related to the products in this layout, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer those questions. And yeah, I appreciate you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. And like I said, subscribe would be lovely. And head over to my um, Facebook and Instagram and follow me over there. So you guys have a great week and I will be back here again real soon. Bye guys. Thanks.